feeling your vibe Can I feel your vibe, baby? Yeah Let me catch your vibe Let's just take our time Just relax your mind And take it easy Don't have to decide You do, I do, I Don't have to be mine Let's take it Hey, boo things. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Asia. And today's video, I'll be reviewing this closure wig. Yes, closure wig, y'all. I've never reviewed a closure wig before, but as you can see, the space on this closure is very big. The wig construction is quite similar to the frontal. And look at this hairline, dolls. It comes pre-plucked and it's pre-plucked very well. I'm actually going to go in and pluck a little, but in hindsight, I actually regret plucking it it was plucked good enough and I really should have just left it alone in any event you know your girl always like to customize her wig so I did pluck it a little bit and this is what the hairline looks like when I was finished and I just want to show you guys the knots on this wig this wig unfortunately does not come bleached but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this Sally Hansen leg airbrush spray to the inside of this closure and I'm gonna dry it with the hairdryer and this is gonna help mimic bleach knots now I'm cutting a little bit of the baby hairs and I just want to style the baby hairs while on the mannequin it was a little hard for me to style it on this particular mannequin. Um, I should have used the canvas head so I could apply the pins just to kind of um, give me more control over the hair on the lace. In any event, this is how the baby hair is turned out. I'm going to go lay this down with the black wrap strips and I'm just going to leave that on for just a little bit until it dries. And once it dries, this is pretty much what it looked like. Um, my baby hairs don't look too bad um, on a mannequin so I'm gonna try this on and one thing I will say about this closure this does come in transparent lace as well as tinted lace unfortunately the transparent lace was not available when I ordered it I do prefer if they would have sent a transparent lace so if you can I would suggest ordering a transparent lace because it's easier to customize to your complexion However, I am going to try to make this work. Now, I'm going to just apply this wig like I normally do using my Got To Be Glue Free Spray. And I'm just going to lay this down with the tip of the comb as I blow it with the blow dryer. Now, this wig came with this satin scarf which I actually really like. This is the first this is the first vendor that I know that have sent this. And I'm going to use that to tie down the front of this hairline. And I'm going to leave this on for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll be right back. Now I'm just brushing this hair with my Denman brush and I'm wetting the hair just to help activate the curls a little bit. I'm going to add some of this got to be kinkier curly mousse. I like this mousse it does very well with helping to define the curl now what I usually do with my curly units is I, I usually co-wash them before installing it however I didn't get a chance to do that um, and I think that is best just to kind of wash the unit I'm gonna apply some of my face powder to the parting area to help and try to camouflage those knots a little bit more and this is what the hairline looks like without bleaching the knots okay so you girl I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and bleach the knots I'm not gonna really show you guys how I do this I do have a full detailed tutorial on bleaching the knots I'll link that in the eye up above as well in the description box so this way came with an, an extra elastic band it wasn't sewn on but I did decide to go ahead and sew that on so that I can wear this wig glueless and here I am since I've washed the wig when I bleached the knots just applying some more of that kinkier curling mousse to the hair 
and this is what the hairline's looking like now after I bleach the knots. I do like it a little bit more as it is a little bit more natural. And dolls, I just want to show you the part in space on this closure. One of the things I didn't used to like about closures was the part in space, but rest assured you have more than enough part in space. So you could go ahead and wear this in a side part if you prefer. Okay, so I noticed that some of you guys have been sleeping on the curlier units, but one of the advantages of getting a curly or a wavy unit is the versatility. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten this unit. Now, it would have been better if I would have straightened this on clean hair as opposed to hair that I've already applied mousse, but as you can see, the hair did turn very straight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to add a couple of curls into this. Now this flying iron is actually not ideal for creating curls because it's so big, but I did wanna just show you guys that this hair does hold a curl. So now you have another option of wearing it straight, wearing it curled, or wearing it in its natural state curly. Now it's time to test to see if these curls are gonna come back. So I'm just wetting the hair with my hairspray. Um, ideally, I would just dump it into water or wash it to activate the curls because it does return quicker when it's soaking wet. But watch how this moves really bring those curls back once I apply it to the hair. And it gives it a nice little sheen. So I'm gonna show you, this is the comparison of the hair when it's wet, and this is the hair when it's dry. And as you see, this is a very full unit. This is 180% density. Um, it is available in lower densities if you prefer less thick hair. I also did get this wig in 24 inches. So as you can see, this wig is very long. It comes down basically to my butt. And guys, this is a closure wig. Do you see how far this closure space expands? Now I do recommend closures for beginners. I think that you guys will find this wig is a lot more beginner friendly because the maintenance on a closure is a lot less than a frontal. So dolls, if you're interested in this unit, I'll have all the links in the description box down below. And before we get out of here, I'm gonna need you guys to help me name this wig. What are we gonna call her? Go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The name and the person who suggested it will be listed on the screen. So fam, let me know your thoughts on this unit and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always important, you guys stay blessed and I'll catch you in my next video.